Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of Brad Cook Stuff. So this week, I decided I wanted to do something simple. I didn't have any wild or crazy ideas, so I thought I'd go with something simple. And a few weeks ago, I was looking through my freezer and I realized it was out of control. It's just way too full. I can't really fit much of anything else in there. So I did a quick inventory and found I had a frankly ridiculous amount of chicken sasami, which, if you recall, is that very nice boneless cut of chicken that some people actually eat raw. Now, I'm not gonna eat it raw, but I found that sesame works very well if you fry it or put it in a soup. And it's the latter that I've decided to do. I'm gonna make myself a nice chicken and leek soup with my favorite negishio broth. Nothing real fancy, but in this case, it's just gonna be the sheer amount that I'm putting into that broth. Anyway, let's take a look at the very simple ingredients for this week and see what we got. Here are the ingredients we're gonna be using this week. I've got two pouches of my favorite negishio broth, also my new favorite seasoning, adobo, and six leeks. Why six leeks? Because the amount of chicken sasami I have is frankly too much to put on camera. Just trust me when I tell you, six leeks is probably just plenty. Let's go ahead and get started chopping up all of the chicken. Honestly, that is an obscene amount of chicken sasami, but it's all cut up. Let's do the leeks next. That is six leeks chopped up into a separate container here. I think it's time to do a little frying. I gotta use my big stew pot for this one. That is all of the chicken, all of the leeks, and two pouches of negashio broth, plus a healthy sprinkling of adobo seasoning. This is gonna take a little while to cook. All right, I've been cooking this for a while and I still don't think it's done. This is a lot more than I thought it would be, but you know what? I think it's still gonna taste good. Let's check back on it in a little while. All right, I've been cooking that for a long time and I think it might actually be done. Let's go ahead and take it off the heat, give it a try. All right, moment of truth. I have a big bowl of negishio broth with chicken sasami and leeks with a hefty amount of adobo seasoning. This is not a particularly difficult soup to make, but based on the ingredients, I think it ought to be pretty good. Let's give it a try, see how it tastes, all right? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Oh, wait. That tastes really, really good. I mean, you've got some nice chicken that I chopped up pretty fine. You've got leeks, which give it a nice bit of flavor. That negashio broth enhances both of what I put in there. Plus, the adobo seasoning gives it a nice bit of extra flavor. So, the whole thing is very flavorful. It's very hearty. And honestly, it just straight up tastes good. Let's have another bite here. I right, get some with plenty of chicken and leek. All right. Mm. Okay, so like I said, I really was just looking to make something simple tonight. And as long as it took to actually cut everything up and heat it up, the ingredients are very much straightforward. Chicken, leeks, and some seasoning. Uh, plus that negishio broth, which I'm a huge fan of. You know, that's my favorite. This is... Honest to God, this is very, very nice. And I have a lot of leftovers put in a couple of containers. So I'm gonna be eating this for the next few days. I got no problem with that. Anyway, we got one more bite here. Plenty of chicken, plenty of leeks. All right, I think I can call this a success. And not only did I make a pretty good soup, but I also cleared out a huge amount of space in my freezer. So this is a double success as far as I'm concerned. Anyway. As always, I appreciate you guys stopping in. I will see you in the next video.